They had landed on tripod legs, each having a disc-shaped pad or shoe that left the grass and all other vegetation swirled down in a counterclockwise motion. The counterclockwise print baffled the observers, including Billy. Until, in a follow-up contact, Billy posed the question to Simyasa, and she explained that the round surface area of the support legs also vibrate as part of the entire spaceship in a spiral-shaped anti-gravity oscillation. Each ship has four such vortex centers, three at the landing pads, and the fourth at the bottom center of the ship itself. This would explain the many single footprints observed in the snow during winter contacts. At this site, which Billy recorded on 8mm movie film, the grass continued to grow in a counterclockwise motion for over two and a half months. When asked why, Samyasa explained that the anti-gravity oscillation of the beam ship is far more powerful than the normal gravitational field of planet Earth. Thus, the new force field overcomes the old gravitational field and creates in the plant life a gravitational shift, which the plant life assumes to be correct. This counter-gravity force then lingers for a period of time until it becomes weakened through age and the Earth's gravity once again can take command. <laughs>